Okay, I don't know if you can tell on my shirt, but we have now been riding in some pretty steady rain, light rain, but steady. That's fine. It just adds to the swamp ambiance. In a nice area that doesn't look like it's gonna rain. Hey, what's up, Duff here. Um, I'm out at the, the uh, park that is the staging ground for the swamp ride. I'm here with Garrett. That is visiting from me from Western Pennsylvania. And we, uh, say hi Garrett. Hi Garrett. Hi. <laughs> and uh, we're hoping we're not gonna get rained on because the skies are looking potentially wet. And it was actually pouring at my place when we left. Uh, so we'll see, we'll see what happens. Should be fun. All right, we are rolling um, this morning. As of, well, actually as of a couple hours ago, I, I had just got done playing pickleball for the fourth time in three days. And I was like limping around the house. Um, but I'm like, well, Garrett's coming, so I can't be limping. So I just uh, popped a few Advil and here we are. We are rolling on our way to the swamp. I will not be surprised if we get wet, but we shall see what happens. Garrett's uh, rocking the, uh, he has a T4 by the way. I don't know if you noticed that, but uh, Garrett has a T4. Which was shipped to my house. This is my first video I've shot uh, riding you see in a little while. Uh, my, my master that I got uh, last week or whatever, it's uh, back in the bench apart. Could not get that road tire to seat correctly. I've tried every tr trick in the book and tricks other people mentioned and uh, no, no dice. So it's sitting apart on my bench. Um, and I'm also, I also did get though, I did get the fairing kit and race pedals and all that kind of stuff from Chris Clark. So I have all the stuff I need to transform it. Uh, but I first need to make sure I have a working tire on the wheel before I go that far. So yeah, that's all coming up. Lots of stuff coming up. I was just commenting to Garrett how low the water level is compared to when I was here last. And I was here last, I don't know, was it even a month ago? It's, I mean, we have, we've gotten basically zero rain, but it's, it's dropped. God, it looks like it's dropped a foot and a half at least in this canal here, if not more. Okay, we are now officially entering the swamp trail. I'm interested to see what we see here with, uh, with low water levels, I'm not sure. Feeling very stormy. Temperatures are dropping, wind's picking up. It's fine. I'm not one of those people that melt uh, when they get wet, so if I get wet, I get wet. Now on the path proper. And again, looking at the size, there's just lots and lots of dried up areas here. No, uh, no gator sighted yet. Seems super quiet here right now calm before the storm. Very quiet out here today. There's not a lot of people here. I've seen a handful so far. I'm not expecting to see a whole bunch. And uh, still, no gators sighted. But I think we'll, we'll change that soon. What's that? Last generation GoPro. Oh, no, this, uh, this, one's, this is a 12. That's the latest? Yeah. Yeah, yeah cool. it should be fine. Just want to mention, Garrett mentioned to me that he also, in addition to riding electric unicycles like his T4, but he rides conventional unicycles. Like the, the kind that you pedal, you know? Yeah, but you, but you said you have five, right? I have five. Five, yeah. yeah. So six. six. Six, okay. So he's, yeah, he's, he's as bad with regular unicycles as I am with electric ones. Uh, and how long did you say you've been doing it? Just since uh, December. Okay, yeah, it's great. January, really. He, he, he says it's, it's kind of awesome. I don't know. I just never got the, the urge to do it, but maybe someday. I could probably, I could probably buy a cheap one on... Uh... All right, first gator sighting. He was right across the path, but he was very polite and he's moved. Yeah. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. All right, well, we actually have some, some mucky spots here. Yeah, hopefully we don't hit the bad ones. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oops. Oh yeah. All like these little roots you see on, on the trail, they're called cypress knees. They're the, yeah. they're, they're the extensions of the cypress that are all along the path. Oh yeah, yeah, if they're in the, in the shade, you don't see them. 
Yep. And guy, when I used to do this this ride with no suspension, I mean, I would just be destroyed, yeah. destroyed. My back and knees killing me. Oh okay, so we've seen a couple so far. There was that one across the path. There was two on either side of the road or the pathway. I'm sure we'll see more, but with these conditions, with it being uh, dry and warm, uh, usually they don't want to sit out that much in those conditions. So we'll see. Garrett's not looking to break Dawn's uh, gator record, so I'm sure Dawn will sleep better tonight. Is he? Yeah. Yeah, yeah he's, he's maybe, I don't know, six feet. Hi, buddy. What's up? I'm, so, I'm surprised there's not more in this, in this little pond here. Yeah. No, as far as I know, it is. Yeah. I mean, there are pine trees down here, but I don't know there's any in the swamp. Oh yeah, yeah. Those, on this uh, recently constructed bridge, you can't see it, but there's a gator hanging out over there. Is it a, a significant mushroom or not? Uh, Lentinus something. Really? I, I see him back there along the, the vegetation line. Yeah, yeah. You leave them alone, they'll leave you alone, more more or less. Unless you run into a mother that thinks that you're threatening her babies, then yeah. then it could get ugly. The same as our black bears. Oh yeah, sure. And yeah, we have black bears too down here. So this bridge is r relatively new. Oh, cool. This is one of the areas where you would wind up getting your feet wet a lot. Trying to cross this. Uh, I, think I, I think one of your first videos I ever saw, you were out here with somebody, you were going through water. Oh, that was with Dan. That, that's water. when it was flooded like crazy. Like there was one point where we were carrying the wheels right past gators that were right there. Right. It was insane. Wow. Oh, it, it was miserable. We probably walked a third of it carrying wheels. Yeah, we were totally dead at the end of that. I don't know if you can tell on my shirt, but we have now been riding in some pretty steady rain. Light rain, but steady. That's fine. It just adds to the swamp ambiance. Feels more swampy. Oh no, that's terrible. Hi buddy. He was on the path. He just, he decided to clear the path. The gators have been very uh, polite today. They've been clearing the path if they're on there. They see us. That's very nice. The uh, path is getting a little wet. So it could get a little more slippery, but I'll be cautious, of course. My GoPro 12 should be pretty resistant to the water, I hope. We'll find out. I hope my DJI mic is, I'm not quite sure, actually. Yeah, Marty has lots of tricks. Do you have a, do you have a satellite phone like Marty does? No. Does he have one? Yes. That's weird. Well, for that one time... I was wondering how they did it out there. That one time he almost died, well, he didn't almost die, but I mean, he, he, was, he was screwed, man. He was like laying by the side of the trail for a couple hours because he was so tired and shit. I need no cell signal. I'm wet. Oh, more mushrooms? Where? <laughs> he was not happy with me. I haven't seen any other... No one wants to say hi. Had another one that just did a kamikaze jump here off, off the bank. <laughs> just, they're just not feeling friendly today. At this point. Yeah. Get away with the rain. Alright, so we exited the loop. We are now on the uh, singular path that goes in and out. Yeah, I don't know how many gators we saw. Probably, I would say between 15 and 20 gators we probably saw. Something like that. That's fun. It's getting dark. I think we're fine now. Garrett spotted these cool flowers on the way in. There's a bunch of cool pictures here. Cool stuff to see. Boardwalk is very wet, so we are going to ride slow because it will probably be slippery. Find something to lean in on. I mean, you, you, well, I mean, you could put it on the curb shooting up. Probably work. Yeah. yeah. Oh, all the ants. Holy oh, fire ants, yes. Yeah. Stay away from those, man. Those are, those are killer. They're ruthless. They're in your phone? <laughs> oh, shit. All over the place. Am I hallucinating? Yeah, they're biting. Oh, yeah. They're, yeah, they, they bite, and then you'll get a, um, you usually get a blister after they bite you. Mm-hmm. Garrett has fire ants all over him. 
Where was it? Right here? Oh yeah. Yeah. Yep. Uh, yeah, they were right there. Yep. Now where do you if you do you have the whole area in frame? How did you face ID? Yeah. Oh, it'd make it bigger. Yeah. All right. Nine. See the light flashing. Seven. Six. Cheese. Or something. There you go. Yeah. All right. Check it, though. Check it. Oh, that's good. Yeah. yeah. Cool. And I recorded the entire selfie. Oh, nice. <laughs> raining light rain but it's kind of pelting me I'm actually feeling a little bit chilly believe it or not seems kind of weird since uh, most most days are nothing but a sweat fest nowadays but uh, yeah feeling a little cold wind and wet shirts will do that to you I guess They are fried, man. They hurt so bad. Oh my God. But almost back. back there yeah. All right, so we survived it. Uh, Garrett and I both have very wet shirts. Um, but yeah, it was good. We made a good time. Got to see some gators. Got to see just some, some beautiful, I mean, just so peaceful and quiet out there. It really is. A nice uh, way to kind of get away from all the everyday bullshit. So now, I don't know if you drink coffee, Garrett, but I was thinking about getting coffee on the way home. Could use it. We're going right by the Dunkin' Donuts I used to go to all the time. Oh yeah, it's 5.12, that's, that's afternoon coffee time for me. Okay. All right guys, so that's gonna wrap up the, the swamp ride. Neither of us fell, by the way, which I th that's, that's a minor accomplishment. Uh, signs from the gods, uh, yeah. <laughs> neither of us fell. I'm trying to think what else. I don't know. Your T4, your T4 was fine. Yeah. 70% battery. 70% battery, yeah. We did that fast. I'm not sure what time we left to go in there, but I mean, that was, it seemed like less than two hours, which is which is a good time for getting through there. 2.33. Mm-hmm. Super muddy. I'm going to have to clean my wheel, too, for sure. Yeah. What, clean my wheel? Yeah. Just hose that shit off. Just hose it off, yeah. That guy, yeah. Um, so anyways, guys, yeah, if you found this video interesting, please think about giving it a big thumbs up. I don't know if Garrett knows my outro. He probably does. Uh, feel free to leave your comments, suggestions, ideas, and thoughts in the com uh, comments below. This channel does have, cha or this channel has membership. If you're interested in being a member, you can, you can join these people over here. And uh, if you're not a member, you can always subscribe. And if you subscribe, you can hit the notify bell, which is over there as well. Click that if you want to. But that's all I have for now. I will, uh, I'll catch up with you guys later. Maybe a live stream this week. We will see. And uh, Garrett, so Garrett, how long is your trip? How long are you gonna be? You're going uh, from here to Orlando. Friday. Back Friday, okay. So you're taking the box to Orlando and you're gonna ship it back up on no, Friday. Oh, oh, okay, good. All right, cool, cool. I'm taking the box. Okay, well, yeah, that's smart. All right, so anyways, that's it. Talk to you later. Big thanks once again to Garrett for coming down to a ride with me. He is now one of the very few people in the country that own one of these stickers. Nice meeting you, Garrett.